Hi there, I'm Maria from the Rich and Simple Living. I just said that I'd pop back on today just to show you my menu guides, which I was going to show you yesterday, but um, I ended up doing my history one yesterday. So I've done the menu. What I've done is um, a month's menu for now, just to guide us over winter, early into summer till the garden starts growing. Because once that starts growing, we want to take crops from the garden and um, make meals with them see what if we can make up recipes or just make, make, put meals together with them you know and then I've got my other little book because I've shown you this book that I got for now but I think it's just around here somewhere I'm not sure it's in there somewhere anyway my little book that I was going to do it does um 365 days so it covers the whole year I'm going to start that in summertime and pop the meals down then what we do from the garden so it doesn't mean say I'll follow it to it religiously every day of every year whatever's written obviously things change things adapt but it's I thought it'd be good because I can see what we've grown in the garden what we've made from it what we've enjoyed eating what we haven't enjoyed eating so it'll be good to look back at and then it'll help me plan the garden then for the following year in 2022. So that's the aim. So for now, I've just done this monthly menu, just shop bought items really, just to kickstart everything. So I'd already shown you weeks one. Um, so on the week one, we started on the Monday with bacon, sausage, egg, beans, hash browns, bread and butter. On the Tuesday, we had fish, chips, mushy peas, although I had swapped it that week. Like I say, you adjust things. Um, on the Wednesday, it was spaghetti bolognese, and that we always do a vegetarian version of that. On the Thursday, we had cottage pie, roast potatoes, peas, sweet corn, and gravy. And on the Friday, it was burger and cheese cobs with onion rings and salad. Saturday, like I've said before, we normally have takeaways. Well, my daughter treats us really kindly, but just in case we don't, I've written things on. So Saturday would be a pizza. Then Sunday, we always have um, a Sunday dinner at, dinner time, lunch time, whatever you call it. And I've got the roast chicken, stuffing, roast mashed potatoes, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, parsnips, peas, Yorkshire puddings, gravy and bread sauce. And then at tea time, we always have cheese on toast. Although some pick sandwiches, you can have sandwiches, but a lot of cheese on toast and some homemade cake. So that was week one. So I'm struggling to see a bit with the light. It's ever such a dull day. We've had some really heavy rain here and it's quite dark. At the moment it's stopped, but it looks like we're in for some more torrential rain. But they have given it out over the next couple of days, so expecting it. Right, so now I've been pulling them out of the pad so I can just keep them separate. Week two, on week two, um, that was last week. We On the Monday, we had chicken pie with chicken that we left over from the chicken on the Sunday dinner. Although I think we did swap that one that week as well. Um... So it's chicken pie, mashed potatoes, carrots, runner beans and gravy. Because we're lucky, we've still got quite a lot of runner beans in the freezer. So this is what I think is good about writing down menus, meal plans for each day. Because it, once I start doing it from the garden, I'll know how much of things to grow for the following year as well. Not just what to grow, what we like and what we didn't like. I'll know what well, roughly an idea of how much I will need to grow. So that's what we're working on this year. <laughs> So yes, on the Tuesday we had tuna and cheese pasta bake with garlic bread. Then on the Wednesday it was hot dogs and curly fries with salad. On the Thursday it was stew and dumplings. Again, I did a meat variety and a vegetarian one there and we always have vegetarian dumplings. On the Friday we had chicken, kebs, potato waffles and baked beans. Then on the Saturday if we wasn't having takeaway we would have ham and cheese pancakes. Then Sunday at lunchtime, we were having roast gammon, roast honey parsnips, sorry I'm struggling to read with the light, roast honey parsnips, 
roast and mashed potatoes, apple stuffing, peas, carrots, sweet corn, Yorkshire puddings, gravy and apple sauce. Making me hungry reading this. <laughs> it is lunchtime as well. <laughs> At tea time then um, cheese and toast for a sandwich followed by some homemade cake. But I haven't been having to make homemade cakes lately because we've got so many left from Christmas that we're trying to use through them. A bit pointless making more really. I'll rip another page out. So this is this week. I've been following now the week we're on at the moment. So week three. Um, Monday, yesterday we had curry and rice with onion barges and naan bread. Tonight we'll be having sausage mash, mushy peas and gravy. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll be having stir fry. Then on Thursday we'll have lasagna and wedges. On Friday we'll have filled baguettes and we'll fill that with anything like ham, cheese, chicken, tuna and salad items and things like that. And then on Saturday, if we're not having takeaway, we'll have a nice large Cornish pasty with some gravy. On Sunday, again, going to Sunday lunch, we shall have roast turkey, stuffing, roast and mashed potatoes, honey glazed parsnips, Brussels sprouts, carrots, peas, broccoli, gravy, Yorkshire puddings and bread sauce. And then again at tea time, it'll be cheese and toast or sandwiches of the choice followed by some homemade cake um i think last sunday though i made trifle because um i've got trifle sponges and things to use so i made some trifle instead of cake now next week which is week four before we begin it all again next week um on the monday we shall have chili con carne with rice and nachos if that's how you say it, nachos. <laughs> On Tuesday, we shall have cheese and potato pie and baked beans. Now, I am, I am, I am going to have a bit of a swap around there with Thursday. I shall tell you why in a minute. So, yes, that's Tuesday. So, Wednesday, we'll have meatball pasta with garlic bread. Now, Thursday... We're going to pork chops, mashed potatoes, peas and gravy. And this is why I'm going to have a swap around. I'm going to swap the Thursday, the pork chops, to the Tuesday. And so the cheese and potato pie I'm going to have on the Thursday. The reason for that is because we've decided that Sean can do the cheese and potato pie for the homeschool cooking lesson. So that's what we're going to be cooking for homeschool cookery this week, the cheese and potato pie. So that's why I'm swapping it. So yes, yeah, so Friday we'll have homemade chips and egg. And Saturday, if we're not having a takeaway, we'll have a vegetable couscous. And anything anybody wants to throw in with it, because there's always bits and things about, you know, chuck anything in with it, ham anything, whatever we've got. Um, Sunday again the main meal is at lunch time so we'll have roast beef and Yorkshire pudding mm -hmm. roast and mashed potatoes with um, honey roast parsnips as well steamed cabbage and then carrots parsnips and Swede mash oh I love that it's really nice I do love that so we'll do that with gravy and bread sauce notice we're bread sauce with everything <laughs> do like that then tea time again is selection of sandwiches and cheese and toast and homemade cake or whatever cake I pull out of the freezer because there is still more in there um breakfast times it's always cereals toast uh British roll Sean has at the moment but she goes through phases and dinner time's always any leftovers or sandwiches or um smoothies I like a smoothie so yeah that's the four weeks menu done it's only taken me about three months to write it all <laughs> trying to think what we can have so i'll probably tweak some of them a bit as we're going along but yeah that's what we're going to have four week menu and like i say that's only a temporary menu because we're going to replace it with whatever we grow in the garden so i'm quite looking forward to that actually see if we can devise some menus from things we grow or simply put meals together, lots of salads, especially in summer. 
and then what I do do and what is a hit I shall put in the little um, menu book I have showed you that before and that's quite nice because it's like a little recipe book any menu format so keep that then with the all of my um, recipe books that you can see behind did have a lot more but I have scaled right back with them because you find you only use so many don't you you have your favorite ones and that's that so I've scaled them right back I find um, the good housekeeping recipe books I like this first one let's get my finger there that's in a big brown box that was my mum she bought that before she got married so that's a really old one and mostly black and white pictures there are a few colors but that's another one I really love that book really love that book and then I think there that's the same the good housekeeping cookery book that's the version I bought when I first got married and again that's a good book I love that so they are the two I would definitely keep and the others are just all little bits that I do pull recipes out of and the beer road book would be right along the end because it's small so I do use that as well so yeah they're my favorite and actually when my daughter got married I bought her a good housekeeping cookbook as well so mm. from it was the new edition for then so we've got like three generations of these good housekeeping cookbooks <laughs> but they are ever so good I, I like them because they tell you all sorts of things are really good so yeah that's what we're doing food wise um i'm not going to do another menu vlog now because i've told you what i'm doing and there's nothing to say about it all now until we start doing the garden and then when we start doing the garden and doing our garden vlogs what we're growing and you know how it's all going feeding the family from the garden being as self-sufficient as possible from the garden that's when i'll come back and show you what we've done but i won't do it like in whole weeks at a time I'll, it'll probably be in dribs and drabs as i find something good and write it in my book and that so there were just odd things as we go along as part of um, the gardening vlogs so yes that's been all up to date on that so what day we're on today tuesday tomorrow's wednesday i might pop on tomorrow i'd like to try and keep coming on and um go through how Sean's doing what we're doing because it's quite good it spurs us along a bit and uh, I like watching all of you guys as well what you're doing it's great it's good to watch what everyone's doing good ideas and knowing you're not alone in all this homeschooling so yes that's it for now and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow take care everybody bye